Now, this is a question that gets put to me quite often, and it's one of those taboo subject topics that many people don't like to openly discuss, but I will openly discuss it. Now, me personally, look, I'll, I'll be very honest with you guys. If I had an issue, I'd be say, I'd straight up and say, look, I have an issue. But luckily, touch wood, for whatever reason, I've never ever had this issue. And I believe that I've never had this issue because my body fat is always very low. And I believe that if your body fat's low and you're mentally alert and you're up there, then you shouldn't have this issue. The only time I've actually kind of had this issue when I was going through a little bit of a bout of depression, but I was like, I just didn't want to feel like doing anything. Like you could get 10 out of 10 in front of me, butt naked with every attribute that I like. And I'd be like, look, I ain't interested, bro. I'm too busy. I've got stuff on. My mind just ain't in the game. You know, you guys have been there. We've all been there at a time where the mind has just not been focused on that we've been focused on other things or we've just been focused on getting ourselves better and that's the only time in my life where I've been like you know what I'm not bothered about anything else but anyway moving forward there's many guys who suffer with erectile dysfunction low libido not being able to get it up and when you do get it up look there's a couple of stages of hard-ons we all know that sometimes you have this raging hard-on that's like your 10 10 hard-on you got a 10 10 hard-on you're happy with the way everything looks it's added an inch it's added a bit of girth everything's there veins are popping and you think this if it could just stay like this all the time i'm good and mine is like that every single time on cue for a start it's like that every single morning now we also have another another hard-on you guys know what i'm talking about where you have, it's hard, but then the tip is just a little bit soft. That's another one as well. And then you have a limp one where it's just not good and you've got to thumb it in and you think, this ain't good. I'm not feeling it. She ain't feeling it. This isn't happening. God knows what's happening. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I want to be in it, but it's just not, the blood just, it's just not working. We've all been there. And then there's the worst one where you just can't get it up. And that happens to many guys. Luckily, again, for me, I'd be honest with you. If it happened, if it happened to me, I would be honest. It's never happened to me. But that's because... You know, I don't drink alcohol, I, I'm not fat. These are the things that I put it down to. I'm a healthy guy, my blood's always running through my system. I don't, you know, watch porn, I don't do anything crazy like that. So I feel that's why for me, mentally, that there, everything is connected together. Now I'm sorry for the, in fact, I just, I was gonna say, I'm sorry for the females watching, when I know 101% of my audience is male. So I'm not sorry for any females watching. And if you are a female watching this, you shouldn't, because this isn't about you, this is about us right now. So. How do we fix this issue? Now, so often you guys must have seen that when it comes to steroids, people are like, I'm on, I'm on test, I'm on trend, and I'm, and you know, I could, you know, chuck it in, you know, a barbell, uh, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say? People are see a keyhole and say, I could put it in there. I'm that horny, I'm that hard, I'm ready for anything. You must have heard that. You've also heard this thing as well. The trend turns you gay. I know I don't. <laughs> I've taken trend for two weeks. I didn't get those feelings, but you get what I'm trying to say. People get to the point where they get so, you know, built up like a dog on the heat, they could just do anything. So that is why that term comes from, that it can mess with your brain chemistry. I do believe it messes with your brain chemistry to the point where you're just think, thinking straight. You get the joke, it's in there somewhere. Right, so what is the best stack to take? How do we do it? How much test, how much trend, how much D-ball, how much oxy, how much DECA? Look, guys, I don't give a shit about that. I'm not here to tell you what to take cycle-wise. I'm not here how much to measure it and, and up and down. If you're going to take tamoxifen, it's going to shoot it all the way down. Your testosterone, another thing as well, let me just tell you. If you take anti like Clomid, tamoxifen, anastrozole, arimidex, uh, the other one, the other one, the other one, whatever it is, I don't know, there's so many out there. Your estrogen will be so low that that could affect your libido. It could be that because your libido's really, sorry, your estrogen's really high, that could affect your libido. So there's a balancing act that goes on when you're taking anabolic steroids and TRT. How to figure it out, what's going on, what's not. What this guy said, he's taking this stack and his libido's okay. I'm doing exactly the same stack as him, but my libido's not good. So there's gotta be something in there. Then it starts to play with your head and your mood and everything else. A recipe for disaster. Okay, guys, I'm not talking about any cycle over here. I'm just gonna say to you that regardless on what you are taking, if you struggle with libido, there's one drug out there that trumps everything, and that is called Proviron. If you take Proviron, just 25 milligrams every single day, you're gonna wake up like a dog on heat. But maybe you can control it. Some guys can't control it. Some guys get that uncontrollable urge. It's not for you. But if you know you can control your hard you can control that horny kind of feeling like a dog on heat, as we call it, then take Proviron. Now, if 25 isn't doing much for you because you're on a lot of steroids or your libido was really shut down, 
try 50. If 50 isn't working, try 75. If 75 isn't working, try 100. I have had guys with complete shot libido where I've tried 100 milligram, and what we've done is we've split it into two doses. 50 milligrams in the morning with breakfast and 50 milligrams 12 hours apart in the evening so you don't forget it. Yes, in the ideal world, you could take it 25, 25, 25, 25, but who's gonna put a timer on four times a day, you know, every six hours take a provider on it? It just doesn't make sense. So just take 50 in the morning, 50 in the evening, and you're good. But you only wanna do that for 10 days. Seven to 10 days, no more than that. Once your libido's back, everything's in check, drop it to 75. So 50 and then 25. Once everything's in good there, we drop it just to 50 in the morning. Everything's good on 50, we drop it to 25. Ideally, we wanna be cruising on 25. Now I have done blood work. For 25, for the year, many people will say you shouldn't do it. There's many people say out there it's bad for your sperm cells or sperm production if you wanna get your missus. But look guys, you may not be getting your missus pregnant, but look guys, this isn't about that. If you want to get your missus pregnant, there is a TRT protocol, link is in the description. That's a separate thing. This isn't gonna make you, this isn't gonna take you to the point where you're gonna be like, have zero sperm. You know, you're gonna have a lot of sperm. If anything, a byproduct to this, as long as, as, as well as lowering your estrogenic side effects, it also gives you a lot of sperm volume. Now, that's probably good for some guys, and I know personally we ain't bothered about sperm volume, but I'm sure some people aren't. If they weren't bothered about it, Proviron is also good for that. But Proviron, just to talk about blood work here for a minute. I did took Proviron for a year, 25 milligrams. Didn't see any changes in my blood work. So I'm not saying that won't happen for you. I'm just saying the research I did, I did and conducted on myself was for me, and I took it for the whole year. I didn't really come off Proviron. I might every year just come off for like, you know, a month, two months, just to clean my system out a little bit and then get straight back on 25 milligram. I think it's safe. This is why I would advise you guys to, to take it. Now, remember, I'm not telling you to take it for 12 months. I'm saying I took it for 12 months. But what I am saying to you is, if you suffer with libido, this is what this video is about, nothing else. This isn't a steroid cycle. This isn't how to control your hormones. This isn't, isn't how to control anything. This is just about libido. If you're struggling with libido, start with Proviron, 25 milligram a day and slowly build up. But do not do any, do not do the high dosages for more than seven to 10 days. Now, it's not dangerous, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't do it for more than that. It's the only reason I would say don't do it for more than 10 days is because you don't want to become dependent on it. You do not want to be taking four tablets of Proviron every single day. That I haven't done the test on, but it just doesn't seem very, very healthy to me. And it's very expensive. So there you have it, guys. I think I've pretty much covered everything with libido. There's so many other drugs out there. I don't recommend Viagra. I don't recommend Cialis. If you're going out on a night out or something and you feel like something's about to happen, just double drop some Proviron. It's good enough. Mentally, it's great. You know you're going to be good. You know if you're going to meet a chick, everything's going to be sound. There's not going to be any issues. And you're not going to get the headaches in the morning after. And you know what I'm talking about, guys. If you've ever taken... Uh, Viagra, if you've ever taken Cialis, what happens the next morning? You wake up in the morning and you've got this banging headache, you're having breakfast and all of a sudden you've got random hard-ons. You know, you're on your bike, you're on your quad bike or you're on the, you know, I don't know where, where you are, where you live, doing what, whatever you're doing the next morning. But I remember like once I took Viagra, I think we were in Spain somewhere and the next morning we had to catch this bus somewhere. I'm sat on the bus and all of a sudden, just because the bus is like vibrating a little bit, I've got a hard-on, I'm thinking, I'm wearing shorts, like short shorts, like this kind of material, short shorts, and I've got a raging hard-on the next morning. It wasn't a very ple pleasant sight. Well, anyway, so... Proviron, much safer, you can control it. Well, if you can control it, take some Proviron. Hopefully this gave you some value. In fact, I know it gave you value. Comment down below. Tell me about your Viagra experiences. Like and please subscribe.